Doing the uh, flatworm exit. Um, I just I got my pumps all turned on the highest setting they can go on right now. So the tank is really cloudy. I just cleaned the glass off so I can uh, see the flatworms. I sucked a whole bunch of them out first. Um, got my reactor down here completely filled to the top with carbon. I also got this AquaClear 110. This is how I got to run it. It doesn't fit over the uh, Euro brace, so I had to put a pipe on it, and I'll just do it this way. But I got a big ass bag of carbon in there um, that I'll be running. So lots of carbon, hopefully enough. I'm getting ready to do the uh, dose of flatworm exit right now. But I'll tell you what, stirring up the tank, man, the coils really, really open up for feeding. See that brain? Tentacles are all coming out. So, yeah, got the tank on high. Still a lot of flatworms buzzing around, but you know, I guess I'm just gonna take this chance and uh, do this. So I'm gonna get the dose ready to go. I got it over there on the floor. <laughs> so, all right, guys. All right, guys. I got the uh, proper amount for dosing this tank in this little uh, thingy here. Um, and a pissy baby in the background right now. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, dump it in. And hopefully we start to see these guys die off. As soon as I start seeing quite a bit of die off of them, I'm going to start the uh, activated carbon. So we got to dump this into a high flow area of the tank. Which is like the whole tank. Alright, so now we wait. Said they should start dying within a half an hour. So uh, we'll see what happens. I'll come back at you guys. I don't even think it's been one minute. You can see them starting to uh, bail off here. Not having a good day. But yeah, it hasn't even been a minute yet, and you can just see them already starting to uh, let their footing go. So, that's awesome. Fucking die fuckers. Tons of them floating around in here. Holy crap. I know you guys aren't able to see them. I can't get my camera to focus on them, but there's they're all over this tank. Holy shit. I didn't even see these. I siphoned out as many as I could see. But look, I mean they're just like coming out of nowhere. This is like this is, <laughs> this is like intense, man. So yeah, I mean shit, look at that. All those on the sand. I thought that was cyano. They were all fucking a bunch of flatworms. So, yeah, I'm going to keep on uh, monitoring this. And, uh, God, look at them all. That's just insane. You can see them all above that money cap, just like a string of them. Wow. Oh, I'm glad I was able to suck out as many as I could see, at least. Uh, corals are still looking really good. Actually, they're kind of like in feeding mode right now. All their tentacles are out, so I'm not seeing anything wrong with the uh, corals thus far. But again, it's been probably about two minutes now. Um, I'm looking for my cleaner shrimp. The only thing that uh, I've heard and read about is that this stuff can uh, kind of piss off cleaner shrimp. So I'm looking around for my cleaner shrimp. I'm not seeing him right now. Oh, there he is. He's under the rock. Seems to be okay. Can't really get a good angle at him, but he seems to be all right. Look at that. Can you see all them flatworms just hanging off? This is an exciting day. All right, guys. I'll uh, come back to you here in about uh, 20 minutes when the uh, when I got to start the carving up and shit. It's been about 20 minutes since the treatment, and... Uh, there's still some hanging on in the back there. We well, can see them all floating around the tank right now. Um, started doing running the carbon. This is how I'm running this filter. I know it's a little ghetto right now, but I mean it's the only way I can get this to work with that big old bag of carbon in there. So uh, you know we'll just deal with that for now. I'll clean that light off when uh, when I'm done with using that filter. Got the uh, carbon running down here now. So all the carbon in the tank is running. Skimmer's going ape shit right now. I'm not treating the fuge because uh, the fuge has a huge population of these flatworms, um, and it's really hard to get in there to suck them down. So I just drain the fuge down to where it won't go into the main tank, and then um, I'll just drain this down even more and treat the fuge by itself, get it cleaned up, and use it as my ATO container. Um, 
Nothing's really seeming to be stressing. The only thing is these Duncans have really uh, like retracted their tentacles. But, I mean, that's the only thing I've seen so far, uh, coral-wise. Um, I mean, everything's still doing well. The fish are doing all right. So uh, I put some filter socks down in here so we can start catching the uh, uh, the bad things, the worms. <laughs> so uh, yeah, we're gonna start catching those. Hopefully this thing will start picking some of them out as well. But uh, right now, as of right now, uh, the treatment is going successfully. So uh, we'll see how it continues to go. All right. Guys, it's been about an hour after treatment, and I'm not seeing any still clinging on to the rocks, none on the glass, none on the sand bed. There's like one or two that I've seen that's just kind of in the coral slime. Um, so what I'm noticing right now is the Duncans really aren't liking the treatment. Um, and my RBTA, I don't know if it's just not liking the flow or if it's from the treatment. I mean, it could be the same for the Duncans, but, um, so yeah, the Duncans and the RBTA so far just don't really seem to be liking what's going on. Everything else so far looks okay. Um, let me try to find my cleaner shrimp. Cleaner shrimp is still doing good up under there. Um, yeah, so I'm getting ready to do the water change. I'm going to take the, uh, filter socks out, clean them out, um, and, uh, do the water change. So, still got the carbon run. I'm going to leave the carbon run for a while. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to do the water change right now. I got uh, about 40 gallons in this tub ready to go. So, I'm going to suck this down and then uh, do the water change. All right, guys, it's been a little while now since the uh, flatworm exit dosage. Um, at least four hours, four or five hours at least. Um, Really, the corals are doing just fine. Um, my fish, more than anything, are acting really strange right now. See, the Duncans are opening back up, but my hippo tang is like keeping itself in that corner, which is really abnormal. Um, clownfish are not really swimming around all that much. There goes the hippo I'm taking off. But uh, I put some seaweed in the tank, and normally this hippo tank goes nuts over seaweed. And um, I haven't been really able to find my yellow tang. Let's see if we can find the cleaner shrimp is doing just fine, which is the only thing I really heard of livestock wise that other people have had trouble with. But uh, yeah, I can't find my yellow tang. Oh, there he is. He's under this rock right here. Just kind of chilling way back there. Um, yeah, so really the corals are doing all right. Um, it's just the fish are acting kind of strange. I don't know if that's from the actual flatworm exit or if it's from the flatworms, you know, releasing their fucking bullshit toxin or whatever they have. Um, I'm still rubbing, running carbon. Um, I don't have the aqua clear up here anymore, what I did. As I put that big ass bag of carbon into uh, my external overflow box. So I'm still running carbon. I got the, the reactor going still. But um, yeah, the fish are just acting more strange than anything right now. So hoping tomorrow they're going to kind of liven up a little bit. You know, after the carbon does whatever it needs to do with those toxins in the water. But you know, other than that, the coral look all right little bit stressed. The Akins are more in feeding mode than anything right now. So, uh, yeah, we'll uh, update on that tomorrow. But uh, what a difference the tank looks like without all them damn flatworms in it. Anyways, alright guys, we'll, uh, we'll update this tomorrow. Alright guys, it's been uh, about three or four days since I dosed the uh, flatworm exit. Um, tank's looking good, haven't seen any flatworms. Um, I just wanted to bring you my experience with the flatworm exit. <clears throat> um, so, if you remember, I uh, vacuumed out as many as I could um, in hopes that the uh, livestock would be okay. Um, so, I do have some 
deaths to report. Um, both of my blue green chromis and my blue hippo tang died. Um, also, um, the millipora, the green millie that was right there, has died. Um, I had some polyp bail out on that hammer there, just that one branch there. Um, also this coral right here, which I don't remember what it's called, but that one is uh, just browned out. Um, the yellow tang was really stressed out and the cleaner shrimp was not acting right, um, but they have since seemed to have recovered. Um, so that's all I have to really report on what happened with uh, the dosing. And it's not the flatworm exit itself that killed the fish and the corals. It's the uh, toxins that the flatworms released as they were dying. Um, check out that plate coral. Purple plate. Um, so yeah, it was the toxins that the uh, flatworms were releasing as they were dying. And um, the carbon, I guess, you know, just didn't keep up with it. But, uh, I mean, I guess now that the flatworms are gone, everything is now doing well. So, um, yeah, that's my experience with the flatworm exit. It does a killer job on the flatworms. Um, unfortunately, the flatworms do a killer job on the fish as they're dying. So, I was able to f pull off some of those baby uh, Yuma recordias that were in the back by that giant Yuma. I pulled a big old chunk of them off. Some of them look like they're... A bright blue. I know the camera's probably not picking it up. But, uh, yeah, so no more flatworms. But, uh, do, did have some, some deaths occur. <coughs> Alright, guys. Later.